Okay, guys, I don't take this seriously. You can realize that by now, all right? Jeez. Um, although I did do something recently where I was attempting to take YouTube seriously, okay? I was trying to take it seriously. For one minute, I was trying, okay? And I almost got stabbed. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> it's such a me thing to happen. Okay, um, so I went to London to see Sam Chipek, who is a Tottenham vlogger. Controversy as a master vlogger, but who cares? Um, lovely guy. What we wanted to do, we wanted to do a little video for his channel where we interviewed Chelsea fans and asked some questions about their history. Basically, just to see if they were a proper Chelsea fan or if they were just like one of those post 2005 plastic, I only like Chelsea because they got good and rich. Fans. Yeah, so that was the video we wanted to do. Hi guys, so I'm in London and I'm going to be doing a little video with Sam Chipek now. Chipek is a Spurs vlogger, as you guys know, but that doesn't mean I can't vlog with him, right? Stop taking football so seriously, I know what you guys are like. <laughs> so, what we're going to be doing today, we're going to be going down to the Arsenal versus Chelsea fixture and we're going to be doing something that hasn't been done before, especially not with Arsenal and Tottenham. We are going to be paying or just seeing if Arsenal or Chelsea fans will wear Arsenal or Tottenham shirts. Alright, so I've just spoken to Darth Vader, and Darth Vader is a very poor busker who would wear an Arsenal shirt for a fiver. He also supports Man United, so that's perfect. No one knows it's you. <laughs> we want to see how much those guys hate their rivals, so let's go. Do you wear a Tottenham shirt for a tenner? In a bit. <laughs> 50 quid? I've got 50p quid on me. Nah, student loan drop last week, I'm good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it went really well for a while. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Um, loads of people were getting involved. We met some amazing people. Um, we met other fan cams that were doing similar stuff to us. But me and old Chipek made a big mistake. So what a lot of these fan channels do these days, because they're quite big, they set out a secret location at the start of the game and then by the end of the game everyone knows where they're going to be, all the loyal supporters, all the regulars on the fan channels, they know where they are so they go there. This is normally about half a mile away from the ground. Me and Chipek, we didn't know this and uh, we did our interviews right outside a Chelsea Ultras pub. Uh, um, I tell you what, it was going alright for a while, yeah, it was going good, um, we were getting a lot of interviews, like, there was one bit we had, like, 20 people around us, um, but then, this guy kept on, like, poking me, Sam was interviewing Lewis from Blues Fan TV, and I, this guy keeps poking me on the shoulder, I'm just like, what? And he's like, oh, I want to be interviewed, I want to be interviewed, I'm like, hang on a minute, man, you can be in a minute, and he just keeps begging me and begging me to be interviewed, and... Yeah, uh, in the end we let him on. We did all our five questions about the history of the club, about like FA Cups, do you recognise these people? We got them all because he's a proper fan, this guy. He's one of the ultras. And then we got on to the bit about the shirts and whether he'll wear them for money. And yeah, big mistake. Because he's got the shirt there. Would you wear an Arsenal shirt for money? No, uh, it depends how much money it was. All right, I'm going to get straight to the point, 50 quid. Now? Yeah. Go on, then I'll take 50 quid for it. Would you actually? I'll take 50 quid for it. Would you actually put an Arsenal shirt on? Go on, give me 50 quid. I'll put an Arsenal shirt on. Would you actually? Yeah, go on, give me 50 quid. Right now. Give me 50 quid. You have to wear the shirt first. Shirt give first. me 50 quid. You got to take Chelsea off. Show me, the, show me the 50 quid. He's got, show him the 50 quid. I'll show take it. Show All right. him the 50 quid. Oh, okay. Hold the mic, man. I'll just show it in a distance. I'll take it. An just, put, just put it on over you. Oh no! 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 Oh no! Okay, I'm following the guy. I'm following the guy. I'm following the guy. I'm following him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna nick it off him. I nicked it off him. You nicked it. Where's Milo? Milo! We got him. We got him. 
Oh. What are you shoving me for, bro? I didn't shove you. What are you doing? I was running away. I was running away. Let's go. I didn't. I didn't. It's all right. It's all right, G. It's all right. We're going, mate. We're going. We're going. We're going. We're going away. Okay. Oi, we'll be safe. We're in the Arsenal fans. We'll be safe. Where's Milo? Milo, film, film. See if that ever makes it on YouTube. Okay. I'll fucking open you up. Okay, okay. Yeah? Okay, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you hear that? Yeah, yeah. I heard yeah, that. Right. I heard that. I heard that, yeah. No. I'm getting chased by a Chelsea fan who's threatening my Excuse me, please, man. I haven't got a shirt off. Excuse me, I'm getting started on by this guy. Can you help me? All right, just stand up and right, Chelsea fan. I'm an Arsenal That's fan. I'm an Arsenal fan. Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? No, no, she's come with me. Okay. Okay, I'm running away right now. Um, I don't know where the oh, I don't know where the Chelsea fan is. <laughs> I don't know where he is. Okay, um, I'm an Arsenal fan, so I can't see him. Shit. What are we doing? What are we doing? Oh, yeah, we're still. All right, right calm down. Milo? Calm down. I don't know. I don't I'm know. Shit myself right now. Okay. It's all right. It's all right. Calm down. Calm down. Yeah, but we lost the filming though. Yeah, we lost him. Yeah, we haven't. Okay. Over there. Where is it? Delete that. What are you doing? Delete that. Get off of me. Delete that. Get the fuck off Delete of me. Delete that. Delete that. Alright, alright, I'll delete it. Delete, delete it. Now. Delete it 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 now. Just fucking get out of here. Just run there. Run down there. So yeah, before I show you the aftermath of that, um, knife crime is a serious issue in London, and I didn't know it till then, but when you have a knife pressed up against your chest, yeah, you, you understand it, and there needs to be something done about it, there really does, but yeah, anyway, let me show you um, what happened after we found security, um, which we're, we're massive pussies here, like, for the start, we are, we are so scared. Right, so um, we're getting chased by a Chelsea fan that's threatening to stab us, um, fucking hell. We didn't even do anything. No, we didn't do anything. Where is he? Wait, there is that him? There he is. Look, he's filming us. Wait, there he is. He's filming us. Look. Where? That guy, the guy that threatened to stab us. He's right there. Oh, yeah, look, he's there. Problem, governor. What's the issue? Look at him. He's threat. He won't let us out. Sit down on Twitter and just contradict himself. And by the way, I've got that on evidence here. Right here on the voice. Yeah, we've had it on voice for like how long now? Um, nine minutes. Nine minutes. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to you stop know? it here. Okay. What, what just happened? No, I'm basically we're just doing something for YouTube. He's, he's, still he's still there filming us. Yeah, he's still there filming. He's still there filming us. He's like literally threatening to cut us open. Yeah, up yeah he does now. live vloggers. We were vlogging, filming people over there, and he started threatening to cut us open. Just gonna call Milo. See if he's there. It's my Look, he's still filming us. He's right there, just yeah, filming it's us. Fine. I don't know what he thinks he can do with that. We got him on camera saying he's gonna cut us open. So on voice, yeah. So what are you trying to get out of this? Right, just stay with them. No, no, I don't get it. He threatens to cut us up, and he's no, got no, a smug no, look no, in no, his no. face. I know, man. I don't stay, get it. Just stay here for a second. I don't get it. Okay. Like. You're against filming, but you're filming me. Literally, that, that the reason you did that is you're filming, and you, that's literally what you're doing. You're literally contradicting yourself right now. I don't, I don't get it. You don't like football what are you vloggers. To prove? You don't like vloggers. You bro. don't like vloggers, and you're vlogging. That's literally what you're doing. We're doing this for our own safety. You're just doing it to make a point which doesn't exist. Oh, fine, fuck it. Two can play this game. <laughs> you vlogging too, are you? No, I'm Instagram live. Oh, Instagram live. Go on. Okay. Look at him. He's gonna run out of storage. That phone's from like 1997. Yeah. Sam, get me in it. All right, so. Explain what's happened. All right, so we were interviewing people outside Stamford Bridge after the game. We were just asking simple questions about like Chelsea's history, just general stuff for the vlog. And this guy comes up to us, grabs one of my shirts, and threatens to cut us open. And yeah. he's been. And he literally grabbed us. He, he grabbed me. He wouldn't yeah, let fucking let go yeah, of me. Yeah, he threatened our lives. So death threat, straight up. And now he's filming us. We're around security. He's just filming us. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> what the hell? 
You don't like vloggers and you're vlogging, mate. You're contradicting yourself. What are you doing? <laughs> Honestly. Such a have you run out of storage? You're just staring at a blank screen right now. Your phone's Mate, have you had a pair of trousers? It's fucking winter. <laughs> You're not cold. <laughs> Literally. Like, we're sat here right oh, now. Right, Milo. Stay here. Milo? Jesus. Right. Come to the main ground. The guy that was threatening to stab us is still filming us. So, yeah, naturally, when you almost get stabbed doing fan cams, it can be a bit of a... <laughs> Ugh, when it comes to doing stuff like this and that's mainly the reason why I haven't posted in a while It's been tough for me to just go can I be asked do people want this? It's pathetic that Vloggers and football fan cams now have to be under the risk of getting stabbed well, what, what I find the most pathetic is that this guy wanted to be interviewed. He wanted to have his say on camera uh, And then just like all of a sudden it just results to him trying to stab us. We didn't antagonize him. We didn't like provoke him into anything. This was the work of one stupid idiot. But yeah, I haven't posted on this channel in a while and I just wanted to update you with something interesting. And yeah, me almost getting stabbed was pretty interesting. So <laughs> if you liked the video, um, press like and smash that subscribe button, guys. I'll see you in a bit when something new happens in my life. See you soon.